The man that you are looking at right now is a human skyscraper. Hi, my man is Sultan, tallest man. He is so big that his hand covers your entire head. His shoe size doesn't even exist, and he can't fit in a normal car. Having a body like this means he makes normal people like you and me look tiny and makes normal objects look like toys. Hi, I'm Erwan, and I'm going to introduce you to the tallest man in the world. Sultan lives in Turkey, and he is 2 meters and 51 centimeters tall. For him, a normal door is too short. A normal phone is too tiny, a normal bed is not enough, and a normal car is just too small. Oh, what about you? He is so tall that everyone in his country knows him because he sticks out. He's the worst person to sit behind of anywhere, but the best person to ask to change a light bulb. And his biggest fear is ceiling fans. Everything he wears is made just for him, even his shoes, because he has the biggest feet in the world and the biggest hands to match. And he loves being tall. Hey, Sultan, my friend, what's your favorite part about being the tallest man in the world? Uzun olmanın en güzel avantajı herkesi yukarıdan bakıyor. Şaka şaka yaptı. Sultan is a happy giant, but the truth is he wasn't always this happy. When he was 10 years old, doctors found a tumor in his brain. And because of this tumor, he wouldn't stop growing. He got so big that he wasn't allowed to attend school anymore. So instead, he waited for his siblings to get home and studied from their notes by himself. And when he grew up, he couldn't get a job. He couldn't drive a car or even find a partner. And it gets worse. One day he slipped and broke his leg. And because of his size, the hospital wasn't able to treat him for 10 days. 10 days. He needed a metal rod to support his leg, but his leg is so big that it had to be custom made. And this took one whole month. For much of his life, he couldn't live normally. He couldn't study normally. He couldn't even be treated normally because of his huge body. But he's not complaining. My body is a gift from God. Because being the tallest man in the world made him famous. His life changed when he was recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records. He got to travel the world to Japan, Brazil, Cuba, and 125 other countries. And the best part is, he only flies business class because he doesn't fit an economy. He even got to travel to Egypt to meet his friend, the shortest woman in the world. Now Sultan lives peacefully in his giant-sized house and still spends time with his siblings. From the outside, Sultan looks different. But from the inside, he's just like everyone else. Nice, too nice. <laughs> he has simple dreams for the future, to live near the sea and find the love of his life. And after all the challenges that he has been through, he has one message for the world. What makes Sultan one of Asia's superhumans isn't his height, his hands, or his feet. It's his heart. <laughs> <laughs>